This is the video for lesson two on my website, Numbers Written with Words. It's important to be able to recognize numbers that are spelled out using words, and it's also important to be able to write them. One place that we have to do this is when writing a check. We have to write out the dollar amount in words. Also, in formal writing, it's usually common to spell out numbers that are less than 100. If you take a look at lesson two on my website, you'll see a chart of different numbers written out with words, and that'll help you to see how it works. But let's take a few examples here. The number 21 is spelled using a hyphen, like this. Now I know that some of you are thinking, what's the big deal? And it's not a big deal. This is just the proper way to write a number like 21. We use a hyphen, just like that. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have the number 101. Now notice I said 101 and not 101, which is how many people say a number like this. It's not a big deal, but in math, when we say the word and, we use that to mean a decimal point, such as $10 and 73 cents. The word and is representing the decimal point. For a number like this, we just say 101, no and. And we also don't write the word and. Again, not a big deal, but this is just the proper way to do it. Let's take a look at another number. Okay, now that number can be hard to read, and what we do in math is we put a comma to the left of every three digits, just to help us see the number more easily, just to help us see the place values. Okay, now from this we can see that this number is 1,010,010. We basically just write whatever we see without using the word and. Again, if you take a look at lesson two on my website, you'll see a chart that has many different numbers spelled out, so you'll really be able to see how it works. This is just a basic lesson about how to write out numbers with words. In upcoming lessons, we'll learn much more about how numbers work.